Okay, glad you're watching my video today. Creating your own paths is very beneficial and it's going to save you a lot of time. And there's a few things you're going to want to know how to do right. And I watched the Corel tutorial and I thought they left out some of the most important stuff. That being said, I just want this to be a quick tutorial on how to do the path correctly. And so let's get started. Everybody works differently, but to me, resizing the window to, to the general size that I think I'm going to work with is not a bad place to start. But just to establish a path, you don't even have to do that. Okay, I'm going to give it a quick border just so that it's a little easier to see mostly. Change its color. Okay, I'm going to drag it down to this corner. Okay. When you first start to create a path, you want to know where you want your path to start. Okay, so this is where I want my path to start. You got to take a look, look at this blue line. This is your this is your path. Okay, this is the keyframe. This keyframe up here. Okay, so when you try to go through your timeline to add your next keyframe, it's going to move your video, which is not good. Okay. I wish I could eliminate this keyframe and just do them all on my own, but it won't let you do that. So what you've got to do is I'm going to copy and paste to all. Basically, if there was more, it, it, there's only one other keyframe, but that nullifies, it, it gets rid of that path and it makes this added border stay. Okay, so nothing changes. All right, now I can come down here a little bit. I'm going to move it up here. Now, same thing, the path is established. So you can't copy and paste all because that will nullify everything. And so you got to copy and paste all to the right. Okay. Now we can slide down here. Come over here. Once again, copy and paste to the right. Come down to your end keyframe, drag it down here. Okay. Your path is done. It's that simple. Okay. Now save to come up here. You're going to have to give it a name. I'm just calling it four point because it has four keyframes. Anyway, I'm going to save the white border and the size of it. So I'm going to save path with all attributes or we could save just the path. But anyway, I'm going to put that in a folder. I named whatever I'm going to save it. Okay, now it, it gets neat from here. Here's where it gets better, so don't go away. Okay, so we've got our standard deal here. Now let's say we want to modify this, okay? That's your first keyframe. These are all keyframes. They call these nodes, but anyway, you can move these around to change your path up. Move anyone you want. Okay, and you can curve it. So that's pretty cool. It's, okay, so it, it it's you can do a lot more with it than meets the eye at first. And then there's the undo problem. You can't undo anything. Well, because we've saved the path and this is a saved path, we now have reset. Okay? So you can start with close to what you wanted to do as many times as you want because it's a saved path. I'm going to show you that real quick. Here it is in my whatever folder. Okay, and that's exactly what you saved. It's got the white border on it. Okay, and so you don't even have to give it a proper name. You already can see what exactly is going on with this particular path. Okay, so now I've changed my picture. I'm just going to drag my path to my picture. So it's a very powerful, very nice thing to do. Like I said, because you can do all this, that's just way too cool. Okay. Now there's all just a ton of stuff we can do here. A bunch of different stuff. I'm going to get into that in future tutorials. But for now, this is how you establish a path. All right. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And uh, I got some really neat stuff coming up. Uh, it won't be long.